Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Facebook Live with Beth and Steve. Hi, everybody. We are here every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central, and we love having all of the friends that come back each week. And if you're new, please let us know. We do use StreamYard, and you need to give StreamYard permission to use your name. Otherwise, it shows up on the comments as Facebook user or YouTube um, participant. So please let StreamYard know your name and let us know what you've been up to. Yeah, and invite more friends. Me. I mean, the more the merrier, right? Exactly. So Exactly. And we are going to do something different tonight. Usually we do prize patrol and drive draw live at the end. I've had several people ask when they watch the replay why they can't have a chance. So if you leave me a comment on either YouTube or Facebook anytime in the next week, we are going to draw. And next week, there'll be a winner from Facebook and a winner from YouTube out of all the comments that are left on this video for the next week. And we'll see how that works. So please leave some comments. Tell us what you've been up to. If you had a nice weekend, what you're, what you're up to. Okay, what are you up to, honey? It's not a case that if you leave 200 comments that you'll have a better chance. Okay, it's every the names of everyone that left the comment. You don't want anyone to leave you 200 comments? Well, I do because we like talking to people. So please don't constrain yourself. Uh, Make as many comments as you want. I'm just saying that won't necessarily increase your odds of winning. And if you're new here, please leave your name so we can specially welcome you. Yep. And actually, our friends will welcome you, too, because that's how awesome they are. Yes, they are. So I have a couple things to show you before we get started. When I was looking through the new catalog, I just paged right past this perched in a tree. I wasn't sure about the bird. Is that a robin? It doesn't look like a robin. I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it was a robin who ate too much Christmas It looks like dinner. a really fat sparrow. A really fat sparrow. Well, so I discounted it because it didn't look like our birds that we see. So I thought I didn't need it. Well, so first question for our viewers, please type in the comments, what type of bird do you think that yeah, is? Yeah, that would be, I would like to know what kind of bird it is. I was thinking it was a robin, a plump robin. But, but then later I figured out the dyes that come with it. It has beautiful dyes. So I want to show you that tonight. Here's the six dies, and I cut some of these out. We had an embossing folder. I think it was called the Woodlands or something like that, and they had to bring it back because everyone protested. But look at this die. So this is what's cut out, the white part. It's so beautiful. So when I saw that this was the die, I knew I had to buy it. Okay. Isn't that pretty? You even think that's pretty. I do. Steve. It reminds me of the North Woods with the birch trees. I really, really like it, but I haven't made anything with it. it. I used the stamp set for the card tonight, but I thought I was going to do this first. And for some reason, I haven't done that yet. And then this is a tree branch. And I feel like I always need a tree branch. You can put a swing on a tree branch. You can put birds on it. There's lots of fun things to hang on the tree branch when you're making cards. Sometimes you want to go out on a limb. <laughs> That's, it's, she, that's it's what a good, I get paid for. That's it's, a good, here. it's a good thing we have Steve here to make to tell jokes. Now, this paper is gorgeous. And who knew? It's called Distressed Gold 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. You need to put it on your next order. And look at why. It, is this not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Can you see it in the light? Well, no, you're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, honey. But... So it's it's white on the one side, and then it's, oh, it's just so pretty. You need that gold paper. So I am sold on the dies. And then on the stamp set itself, do you remember gorgeous grunge that we used to have? We have this grungy piece. And then this is soft suede stamped on crumb cake cardstock. And I, I really like these dots. You can fill these in. It's more artsy when you use that. So that's good. And even the sentiments, let heaven and nature sing, wishing you abundant joy and peace. 
your kindness warms my heart. And no matter the season, I am here for you. Yeah. It's a gorgeous stamp set. How did I miss I like it? those sentiments. Everybody wants to know that somebody is here for them. I know. I feel like I objected to the bird and just passed it by. And then you just dissed the whole set. because I did. you didn't. I did. I because you couldn't identify the bird. That's why it's so important that our viewers help you identify mm -hmm. the bird. It, it would be a good thing. So we are going to make a very easy fun fold tonight. And would you believe it's using the bird? Okay. Some other things I used making this card is the deckled rectangles. What do you uh, notice about that, Steve? A I lot of deckling going deckled on Deckled rectangles all the time now. And also stylish shapes. These are two die sets you need to get. I use them all the time. I also use blends tonight. I use Night of Navy. I use Balmy Blue and Daffodil Delight. Okay, for the DSP, I use the Free Rings of Love. So for the project that I'm gonna make, you need to pick out a paper, and this is the one I used. You need to pick out a paper that looks really pretty on both sides and coordinates well together. But look how pretty these are, Steve. It's free. We like free, don't we? Free's a really good price. And here's the other side. It seems to me that some of your very favorite papers are the ones that you get for free. I know. The host paper and these SAB papers are so pretty. So this is the one I picked out because we're going to see both sides of it. And I like the birds with this background. So the first thing you need to do if you're making a template for fun folds, I like to make a template, but come along with me and make this if you want, okay? So pick a de designer series paper that looks good together on both sides and you're gonna cut it five and a half inches tall and 10 and a half inches wide. And then go ahead and score it at one and a fourth three and a fourth. Look at that. He has the screen up. Good job, Again, honey. This is what I get. Wait, I don't get paid. Why do I keep saying that? This Beb, is what I get paid Beb for. Bev wants you to get paid. I know. Bev's got to help me out here. Seven and a quarter, nine and a quarter. So again, the score lines are one and a quarter, three and a quarter, seven and a quarter, nine and a quarter. And these outside score lines, you're going to make a mountain with. So they're folding back on itself. And then the inside score lines are going in toward each other. And this is what the card base is. It's designer series paper. So how easy is that? I love it. So next, there's a slide for this. Get a coordinating piece of cardstock. I use Knight of Navy. And this is three and three fourths by five and a quarter. Should I check to see if I have a glue that actually has glue in it? I go through so much glue. Sometimes I actually don't. Oh, good. Yay, we have glue. See, but I think that makes the videos better. When there's, better this element of, to... there's an element of risk involved. In, Do I have glue? I should have checked before the video started. Okay, so I'm going to put this Knight of Navy. And Steve has the measurements up again cardstock in there. Then next, what we're going to do is, oh, we're going to go off script here, Steve. Can you hand me the Knight of Navy ink? It would be like the third down. Um, go over here in this row behind the screen. What sentiment do you want to put in here? Your kindness warms my heart. No matter the season, I am here for you. I want the actual ink pad. I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here. We're stamping? We're going to stamp. It's called stamping, and I tend to show you how to assemble the cards. So what sentiment do we want? This you, is the sentiment pick, layer that Steve. we're doing? Yeah, we're doing the sentiment layer. Okay, and let me put that up. So I like the top one. I like. No I'm matter the you. season, I'm here for you? Yeah. I think that's a Maybe wonderful Maybe no sentiment. matter the season, I am here for you. See, that makes me feel good. That's that's what you want for sentiment, right? So I'm going to get out the Night of Navy ink. And I usually use this little pad because I like to practice. Make sure it's inked up well. You go straight down and straight up and no rocking. Yay. 
Now this, I cut out of the deckled rectangles and it's the second largest rectangle. Really pretty for inside the card. And basic white cardstock. Yes, that so is correct. What was the dimensions? Well, oh, I guess you just. I just put a scrap in there. If you put three and three fourths by five in there, it'll work because that's a little bigger, right? See, does that make sense, hon? Yep. Now I'm gonna close up my ink pad. There, for the record, I stamped something. I usually stamp and emboss everything ahead of time. I don't like to waste your time. You are once again a stamper. And I feel like you probably know how to stamp if you're watching this. But if you are a beginner stamper, reach out to me. I have fun teaching beginner stampers. I didn't even know how to cut the paper. I would go to Michael's and buy card bases and envelopes until I learned how to so, do it. So, Like for stamping, she has little mantras. She'll, she taught me by saying, okay, now you've got to stamp, stamp, stamp. Not stamp, stamp, stamp. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then, then you're ready to stamp because you got the excess ink off the stamp, right? Well, you have it inked up well. Okay. Okay. So, so look how pretty that is inside. Isn't that beautiful? You see this, Steve? I love it. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the belly band. We have the inside done. And the belly band, again, is Knight of Navy. And I used one and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And what I like to do is literally just wrap it around because I want it to be a snug fit, but not so snug I can't get my belly band off. I want to be able to slide it. And then after I get it where I want it, I actually take my bone folder and crease the edges then. I know people do it differently. Tell me how you do it. Do you always measure? But this, you know that it's snug. Now I'm going to put a little glue under here and get my belly band. Remember how we talked about how I had glue and now I'm violently shaking it. Okay. It needs some persuasion. It does. Earlier, I, I did that and got huge amounts of glue. I thought the bottle was empty and I was going to throw it away. And it was full of glue. Okay, then I got out my other favorite dies, the stylish shaped, and I used the second largest. And this paper is, it's hard to see on camera. It's soft sea foam. It's that real pale green, but that is the color that matches the leaves in this paper. And I'm actually going to center that on the belly band and just put it right here. I don't want to put any glue on here because I don't want to risk getting the glue in the wrong place, but I'm centering it up and down and also side to side. Right there. Yay. That part is easy. Then what I did is I took black memento ink and I stamped the bird, I stamped her a couple times, three times, and I did it on shimmery white cardstock. I like sometimes to use the blends on shimmery white, and I also like the way the bird looks because it looks like it has Wink Stella on it. So I went ahead and I, I looked at the bird on the paper and I tried to make my bird look like the paper. And it's it's not, I have a, a ways to close. go. It's you pretty close, so? yeah. Well, you're very encouraging, honey, but, but this was my inspiration, trying to make it look with the colors we had, trying to make it look like the bird, okay? So I colored the bird and used the dye to cut him out. And I popped him, he turned into a him. I was talking about a her earlier. Yeah. The bird, let's, I don't know what gender the bird is. Okay, let's call it her, it's, okay. it's a girl bird. It's a girl bird. So I just have three dimensionals on here and I popped it up. So look at that. That's very pretty. Isn't it pretty and so easy? Couldn't you whip these out? I know we talked last week. Actually, it was probably at the stamp camp Saturday. We talked about making a bunch of easy cards and putting them together, packaging them together for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or host gifts. This also is a very good use of your designer series paper. 
because of the five and a half by 10 and a half, you're almost using up one sheet of designer series paper on two cards. So go back through your stash and make this card. What do you think, Steve? I like it. So if you wanted to celebration last till the end of August, do you want to put the celebration screen on Steve? You could buy this bundle. It is $53. And then you could get this rings of love or any of the other celebration items. But if you got the rings of love designer series paper, okay. you would have the paper to make this card. I just put up the celebration graphic. Yeah. So for every $50, you get a free item. If you have any questions, please email me at Beth at stampingmom.com. Steve and I have a YouTube channel called Stamping Mom, and all the videos are stored over there. It's probably the easiest place to find them. And we would love it if you leave a comment either on Facebook or YouTube, or you could do both in the next week. And we'll pick a winner from each and announce it next Tuesday night. Do you have anything else on there that we wanted to talk about? Go back to the brand and see if there were any other. Um, well, there's free catalogs. Free catalogs. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I give out the free annual catalogs and the mini catalogs in the celebration. So again, just email me and I will get that to you. And um, I don't know. Let me know what you want to make next. I don't have next week's project planned. And um, it's fun. I like, I hope you like fun folds or you probably wouldn't be here. Right, Steve? Yeah. You know, you haven't done a box in a while. Should I do a box? I think you should do a box. I, I have a box planned. I've been doing a lot more stamp camps and classes and behind the scenes things. There's a box in there I did. There's one in the drawer, but I can't pull it out and show it to you. I, you think, it's, I think it's time for a box. Time for a box. Okay. We will look into that. But please um, share this video, comment so you can win a prize. And we are giving prizes to re replay. What do we call it when they watch it later? Replay, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope you have a blessed week. Thank you so much for watching. I will read all your comments and comment back when I can and have a great day.